DC Wizkid here with a Windows 10 tip on getting some disk space back after you upgrade to Windows 10. So many of you might have already seen my other videos on older Windows versions on the uh, disk cleanup. I always say, rule of thumb, if you're running low on space, always run the disk cleanup utility because there's tons of stuff in there that you could actually get rid of and basically reclaim, get back that storage space if you're low. Uh, you can access it through different ways, of course. Uh, you can right-click on the Start button, click on Run, and type in cleanmgr.exe and press OK, and up will come that utility that I just showed you, this little um, pop-up that allows you to select what you want. The one that I'm talking about specifically here that relates to um, leftover temporary files after the installation of Windows 10 is this one right here. That's about 3 gigs almost four gigs of space right there that you can save right off the bat, boom. So if you just select that and go ahead with deleting that, um, basically that'll free up some space. But it comes at a consequence though. If you delete that, then you won't be able to go back to Windows 8.1 for example, so your previous installation. So you'll get a pop-up message similar to this one here that tells you, uh, sure go ahead and delete it, but uh, you'll only be able to uh, have Windows 10 running from now on. You won't be able to go back to Windows 8.1 unless of course you wipe out the entire machine and install it yourself from scratch from, from the media. Anyways, that's one way of freeing up space. Another way is obviously um, using the system option. So if you go into the search there and type in settings and then click on the uh, settings option, you'll be able to get to system, click on system and then go down to storage and that's available right there. Then click on your C drive or D drive wherever you want to uh, free up some storage space and then you'll get a list of different areas where you can view things and select what you want to delete. So this is a different way of freeing up space uh, it does show you some temporary files such as downloads and things like that and temporary files, but it's not the same necessarily as the clean MGR, the disk cleanup that I showed you at the beginning of the video. That's where you're actually going to be able to get much more and free up some serious disk space. Comment below, let me know what you think, and again, thank you for watching.